Now let me explain you what are the different debugging options which are available for SAS Macro and how does it help. I am going to show you some comparison operator and also conversion operator. So what are the different options and what is their utility? How do you use, execute a command conditionally? How do you convert it? All those things. So what are the different options available? You have options like symbol chain which is all about what is this macro getting into decoded and if you are using that you don't need to use m percent variable name and put it you with the percentage put sign into log because this will come anyway m logic m print m logic is actually gives you what is the logic coming out is the logic coming out true is the logic coming out false m print actually prints the resultant SAS syntax. Now one more thing, options ops. This is like a general option of SAS, but actually it helps you a lot if at all you are going to work on big data set. So if you have big data set where you want to try some SAS macro, the best option is that you know you put with option ops equal to probably thousand, check everything is for running fine, and once you are fine with the syntax, you revert it with options of equal to max then it will run on the whole data set one more thing these are the sessions parameters so once you have defined this for whole session it will remain like that so if you want to get rid at any moment for this you will have to put no symbol chain no m logic no print no m print like that and options of equal to max for conditional execution, let me show you the syntax and let me show you some conversion func functions like eval and says eval f. Let me show you that will give you more clarity that how to use it. So I have defined it, you know, this is just little advanced than loop underscore check. You have a start, end, by and a threshold value. And what I am doing, you know, here is the do loop that you had seen earlier also. But if you look at this is the syntax of if else. So if you look at inside the SAS data set, you put if then do, else do. Here what you are putting percentage if, percentage then, percentage do. So if you look at everywhere what you have put percentage, this will help you to re recall the syntax much easier. So everywhere you have put percentage. In lieu of just doing else do, you have percentage else, percentage do, percentage in. So that's how you define the syntax for conditional execution now let me show you one more thing you know when I'm passing this trace why did I need to use percentage eval what happens you know even though when I'll be calling it I'll be passing 10 here which is a number by default SAS macro takes it as a character and that it can throw an error so what I'm going to do here, I put percentage eval, which is letting SAS know that it is coming as a character, but convert that into a number, take it as a number. So it's like a conversion of op conversion operator, con it's, con it's converting. Also, you know, because when you are just converting a integer kind of thing, eval is fine. But if you're converting into a float kind of thing, like here I have put 5.2 into I, you know, it is better to use sysvalf which lets SAS know that treat it like a float. Let me show you the execution that will give you a lot understanding. So first let me, I am not sure I have run it earlier with whatever options. So let me first get rid of all the options and then you know I will run this syntax and show you how does it work like. So this time if I run this command you know it is giving you the detail but you are not knowing everything more in more detail let's say it is producing the result but suppose if you wanted if you wanted you know little more detail in the log that what is coming rather than just why it is reading three data why it is reading all those nine observations everything here the better option would have been probably that you put it something like this so I put options symbol gen m logic m print and look at how the log will change. See right now it is not putting all those detail here. But the moment I put those options, let me show you how does it go like. So this time it will put 
all those details. So go to the log and you'll see the difference. So look at what is it doing first time. So it is giving you that okay, in M logic, it is beginning the execution, start is this, end is this, by is this, all those things it is giving. Symbol gen is saying start underscore one resolve to 20, underscore one resolve to two. Now look at what M logic is giving. M logic is giving that you know, index is i, start value is 20, stop is 20. And it is also giving that you know, this condition is false here. Because if you look at i is 20, threshold is 10, so less than 10 is false. So this condition became true or false, it is giving you. And then it is put saying that this will get executed. And that's why it is putting i is more than or equal to 10 now and the value is 10, 20. That's fine. So it has put it that way. So M logic symbol chain is just giving you like what is this symbol resolved to. M logic is also giving you the conditions are true or false. Now look at M print. What is M print doing? M print is giving you that what is the final syntax looks like. So it is looking like this, how it is coming. So actually I have put it here, if hell i minus 2, i is 20 right now, so it became 20 minus 2, 18. And that's what it is do, going to do, it is putting 18, printing 18 records. So look at what it did. It, it is directly, it is producing the final code also of the SAS syntax. However, if you look at M logic and all those details are there, but it's not giving you finally that what value it resolved to. And that's where M print also helps a lot because it is just printing the final result itself. And that's what it is doing for each and everywhere. And that's why it is putting off equal to 15, you know, because I 17, 17 minus 2, 15 like that. So it did that. Let me show you the output of this CC VLF also. So if you look at the last portion of the code is actually, you know, where I'm using new and just creating a new variable with 5.2 into I. And by the time it is out of this, it is definitely, you know, it will be minus one because it is going 20 to two. The last time it is coming out of this execution, look at 12, I is 12, I is five, then I will two. Next time it will be, the moment it reduces from two to min, by minus three, it will become minus one. And that time the loop will not get executed. So I resolve to minus one, 5.2 into minus one became minus 5.2. And that's what should be the value in the output data set. So if you look at in the output data set, it has put minus 5.2. So the point that I'm trying to so say that because it was a floating float 5.2 you are multiplying and that's why you had to put cc value f otherwise it would have given you error now if you want to get rid of this option you could have simply run off otherwise you know even if you're running just like that it will just show you all those m logic m print all the time it if any moment you do not want to have those things you can run this and you'll get rid of that now let me show you one more thing which i have talked options of equal to. So option of equal to by default tells you that everything going coming here, take only that many observations. So here, if I am putting options of equal to one, it is just going to take one record because I put options of equal to one here. So it just printed the first record. And if I want to get rid of it, I should say options of equal to max, it will run for all the record. This is a pretty handy situation because if you have to run it for big data set, better you run on thousand observations, check all the syntax, and if you're comfortable, then revert it to option of equal to max. That will run for all the observations. So if you look at, by now, you have learned how to define macro, how to call macro, how to use macro, how to define loop, all those things. Now I'm going to show you several of the workout where I'll be showing you that how do I put together these things to achieve certain tasks.